Now that we've finished cause and effect programming, we want to save our configuration and download it to our panel. Click the connect icon. You'll be prompted for a four digit passcode to grant you authority to the panel. The default password is 1111 and click connect. Upon successful connection to the panel, this will bring up the PC Connect dialog box. Notice on the left side of the screen is the configuration in the PC. The right side of the screen illustrates the actual panel network. When we check the sync box for each of the nodes, Loop Explorer compares the date and timestamp between the configuration in the PC and in the panels. When we click the Synchronize button, Loop Explorer will automatically send the data in the direction indicated by the arrow. Now we're downloading our configuration from the PC to the panel network. Upon successful synchronization, the arrow icon will change to an equal sign. The next tab in the PC Connect screen is the event log. The event log allows us to upload the panel's history to the PC. We simply select which node we want to gather the history from and click Fetch. As you can see, Loop Explorer has uploaded the panel's history. We can look at it. We can also save it to a CSV file, which is a spreadsheet. The next tab is Analog Values. From here, we can select a node, select a loop, click Fetch, and upload the analog values of the sensors on that loop. As with the event log, we can save this out to a spreadsheet. The next tab is Virtual Panel. Virtual Panel allows us to get online with any panel we connect to on the network. I can select my panel, click Start, and I'm effectively online with that panel. I can operate the panel from my PC. I can navigate my menus. I can reset my panel. I can perform a fire drill. The last tab in the PC Connect is monitor mode. Monitor mode allows us to capture real-time events from the panel, similar to Windows Hyperterminal. Once we finish capturing events in monitor mode, we can click Stop and save it to a file.